Hey guys, so I want to talk to you guys about Betty for a minute. Um, she's doing much better. Uh, let me, I'll go over and explain the story again. On, um, it was Wednesday morning. Yeah, Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. she woke me up. And she had been, she'd had a stuffy nose for a few days. And that really worried me because she already kind of has breathing trouble. Uh, when she gets like excited or hot or sick. So, I was worried, but she woke me up at 5 a.m., and I could tell she was really struggling to breathe, so I woke my mom up, and we took her to the animal ER vet, and they put her on oxygen right away, gave her a steroid injection, a couple of other injections to open up her airways, and they gave her a sedative to calm her down so she wasn't getting too excited, um, and they did some x-rays to make sure that, you know, there wasn't anything else more serious going on. And then we transferred her to another uh, vet because they closed at 8. So we went to that vet and um, they monitored her, for the, monitored her for the rest of the day, uh, kept her on fluids, and once she kind of woke up from the sedation and they knew that she was fine, we went to pick her up. Um, that vet gave us a different kind of antibiotic than what she's been on a zillion times in the last year, it seems like. Which, I mean, I don't know if that's what's working so well, but she is, like, way better. <sighs> she's breathing a lot better. She still kind of coughs a little bit um, and has a little bit of a runny nose, but it's not stuffy anymore. Um, but she's doing a lot better. shes I don't think she feels well because she kind of seems, like, depressed and... Just not her usual self, but she hasn't really been herself this last, like, six months to a year, and we really thought it was allergies. Um, our vet kept saying it was allergies. We tried allergy medication. We found, we finally found the right food for her because she does have food allergies. Um, but nothing seemed to be working, and I really thought it was allergies. I just thought, oh god, we gotta find the right thing. And I, it never occurred to me. And I don't know why, because I know a lot about Bulldogs. I've heard about elongated soft palates, and it just didn't occur to me. So, I mean, within the span of 24 hours, three different vets told me she needed that surgery. And I'm really glad that we know that now. So, um, she has to get better, obviously, and be in good health by the time that she has the surgery, and I'm saving all of the money. I, again, I want to, like, again, I made a video before this and I fucked it up. Okay. I want to thank everybody who purchased something from my shop after seeing my post. I really, even people who just reblogged it and stuff, I really appreciate it. That is like, I could hug all of you if I could. I had no idea that I would get that many notes. I thought just maybe like a hundred at most. And it got over 1,800 notes, which is a lot for me. <laughs> so, thank you. Like, really. Because she does need that surgery, and I can't afford that <laughs> currently. So you guys are really helping me out by purchasing stuff. Um, the money's in the savings account. Uh, we're about one-fourth of the way there. Um, I don't know, because... I've decided to see a specialist in LA for the surgery, which we haven't talked to him yet. Um, I was kind of waiting until she gets a little better and then we can take her down there and stuff. So I don't know if it will be the eight, eight or nine hundred dollars that was estimated or if it'll be more because he's a specialist, but it's Betty's life and I want her to be okay. So I would rather go to someone who knows exactly what they're doing and has done it many times before. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'll be hopefully listing jewelry soon. I had ordered a ton of jewelry supplies, um, before she got sick, and they should be getting here soon. They came, I think they're coming from China, so. But I have, like, tons of resin pieces and things I could glue together and make pens and sweater clips, and so hopefully those will be in my shop soon, too. Um... But yeah, she's doing really good. She's she's doing a lot better. And I'm really happy about that because I really... I can't stand seeing her sick and I really thought I was going to lose her that morning. I was just bawling. So I'm like, I'm really glad that she's feeling better. 
Because Betty means a lot to me. Obviously, I were tattooed on my arm. <laughs> Betty is like my baby. And um, I really appreciate it again that you guys reblogged it and shared it and cared enough. And to those who donated um, using the link on my page, thank you. It is all going towards her surgery. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on her. Um, I would put her in the video, but she's like sound asleep on the floor outside my door, and I, never mind, she's pawing at my door, hang out. Ignore all the clothes, oh my god. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Come on. A little farther. A little farther. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Hey, hi. Hey, hi. Oh. She does get the cost a little bit. See, she just looks sad. She doesn't feel good, but she's she's doing better. Are you okay? Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> she loves you guys. Oh, I love you. Okay, ready? Gentle. Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. And thank you again. You rock. And I'm going to give Betty a snack. Because she's being a good girl. And yeah, again, sorry about that. That's it. They're clean clothes. I just haven't folded them yet. Okay. Bye.